Okay, folks, a lot of you may remember this one. Uh, drug it in out of the woods along with the, I think there's four other ones. And uh, this is a 65. And it's actually, it's a Bel Air, not an Impala, but I mean, there's not much difference. And I have sold this one. This one is sold, it's paid for. Uh, it was just sitting here in storage for a while. And uh, the guy actually uh, knows I do some cold starts and stuff on video. So, uh, he uh, told me to go ahead and start it if I had a chance or if I wanted to. And I figured since our Continental didn't work out too well and uh, we're stuck on it, let's see what we could do with this one. Now, this has been sitting since 1989 and, uh, and it hasn't been started. These cars I actually knew and, you know, knew the person that had them and where they'd been sitting for a lot of years. And, and uh, you know, the thing just... Uh, Got brought in and shut off and parked and new vehicle was bought and that was it so you can see the sticker ninth month of 89 so it's definitely been sitting since then and let me see you can see the rust on the on the pulleys and uh old belts are hatted of course still got the air conditioning hooked up and let me see the old uh the battery the interstate Looks like an interstate anyway, it might not be, but uh, it hasn't been taken out. And of course, it's still got the, uh, the original battery hold down, which is really odd. We've got a little rust down there. But anyway, we're going to uh, we'll put a battery in and see what we can do with it and just see if we can get it to fire up. I don't know whether I'll try to run this you know, for long on the carburetor or what we'll do. But, uh, and we're just going to hotwire it. We don't have a key for it. And we should be able to get to that without a without a problem without probably without cutting anything i think we can get to the wires and uh but we'll move on and see what we can figure out here get the air cleaner off of it oh yeah thank god for air filters right this one here is working as a nut filter uh pecan or pecan they call them here a bunch of acorns and as you can see nothing in there so that fram L, or fram nut filter done a good job really good job Carburetor's not stuck. It's got the small, small Rochester two jet, and of course our 70 that we started had the big one. Uh, I have turned this engine by hand, and it did turn. And let me see. Oil looks really, really good. So we are going to go ahead. I'll go ahead and get a battery and see if we can get it spent over, and then we'll. We'll go from there with the points and get it hot wire and get some fuel hooked to it. So, all right, show you some more. What I've done here, I've got the harness and I got the small purple wire. Uh, the big purple one here runs, this is a relay that operates your, uh, your blower motor for your heater. Uh, the small one is the one that runs down and I didn't cut it. I just skinned it just a little tiny bit, wrapped the wire around it. It was already opened up right here with the, with the tape, but I mean, not sure why somebody had probably already been in it but that way if he wants to use this harness he can still go in there and and wrap it no problem uh things on the ground so i couldn't get under to get to the starter anyway we're going to try it here it's turning i got a feeling this belt's going to come apart on us but uh we just have to Watch your eyes and watch your heads, I guess. But uh, that part's done. Now we're just gonna pull the stripper cap, pull the points out, go ahead and clean them, get it all back together. And then uh, we'll run some power to the coil and check and see if it's firing. And then we'll uh, start adding a little gas to it and see if we can get it to hit or do something. Uh, like I said, I want it to roll over quite a bit. That way uh, we know we got all up, up on top or getting started up the push rods. Uh, you can see this oil, this engine was leaking a little oil anyway. 
but uh, and it may have some blow by you know that's the oil fill on the blow by tube or the the vent because this was uh, no PVC no positive crankcase ventilation on these engines because uh, it was before they started using them so uh, you know may see a little bit of blow by and let me see the fuel pump I think what I'll do is uh, of course the same as the other one I'm going to go down and cut that hose going to the fuel pump that way we don't get anything out of the tank uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to cut this I don't want to cut this line the steel line and the reason being is I don't know I know he bought this for parts for a super sport and I don't know how originally he wants to go back I know the super sport was, would have been a a uh, four barrel but I don't remember what year they changed it it's probably going to be a four jet and I think the fuel inlet's close to the same so I'm not going to either way I'm not going to cut his line up that way he'll have it if he needs it or you know he might go back for a two barrel you never know but uh, I don't even know that he needs the engine but you know we'd talked about it and I figured we can fire it up and see anyway and uh, which is what I would have done if I'd have kept it so don't make much matter difference uh, yeah this is a power steering no power brake car it seemed like I think these people ordered these cars this way it's got air conditioning but no power brakes but all of them had power steering so uh, I guess they probably had some strong legs and uh, I didn't much worry about it this is a power glide car i know in the last video i put 350 350 but i was meaning 350 cubic inch 350 turbo transmission not 350 horsepower uh, you know i never tried to claim that on that engine uh that was of course a two barrel engine in a 70 impala uh this 283 with a power glide i don't know the horsepower you know guessing maybe 160 or something i don't you know i'm not sure but uh let me get to it Okay, I usually try to show the points on here how bad they are, and uh, these ones actually are not too bad. Let's see if we can get this thing to focus at all. Mm, it might be a little bit. Anyway, just some white on them. Uh, pretty clean besides that, so we'll get them all cleaned off and put them back in. Okay, the points are back in. It's firing. Uh, we're going to try, hopefully this camera will sit here. I don't need my camera following, but uh, I'm just going to try it once real quick. Just squirt a little bit of gas down in it to see what it does, if it does anything at all. thing i do want to show you first i don't have much of a stream of gas coming out of this thing as you can see just barely any and uh so everybody understands there's a bowl vent on a carburetor if not your bowl would build pressure from the fuel pushing in it and then you know it would force itself into the carburetor and you'd end up uh flooding out so uh this particular carburetor has a bowl vent right here so if you see me squirting in the center of that then that means that I'm actually squirting fuel into the bowl. I'm not squirting it down the carburetor. It's going into the float bowl. And uh, all carburetors are vented. It just depends on where. And uh, this just happens to be where it's at. So uh, if you see me doing that, you'll know why. Or you'll know that I'm doing it. And uh, it's definitely not going to flood out because I'm putting it in the bowl. And because I'm sure the bowl's not full. And uh, it's not hitting the bed or not doing anything, which I may... I'm trying, I don't want to cut the wire, so I may just be having issues with the, with getting it to it.
Okay, I'm going to get some jumper cables hooked to it. I don't want it to start drawing the battery down so much that it gets the starter hot. So we'll get that hooked up and I'll show you. Okay, we got the cables hooked up. Put a little more gas in it and try it again. so it don't hit me too.
actually strained. It ain't like the other one. hooked up we might get lucky uh, see if we can get it to run a little longer uh, here a little bit of lifter capping but that'll probably probably clear up as it runs a little while of course there's stuff flying everywhere dust and stuff but uh, it's kind of hard to put an air cleaner on one way you try to start it so we just block it as much as we can all right get some uh, get some gas to it and I'll show you more all right we got the fuel hooked up uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this international off so we can hear something went ahead and let it charge for a little bit hopefully that carburetor is not completely stopped up we'll see what happens here Piece of the belt flying everywhere here. I don't hear any bottom end noise, just the lifters clacking. Definitely putting a little smoke out. Well, 27 years, I think it was since this one's ran, so. It may clear up. I hear one plug wire sparking off on this side. You know, you can hear the lifters, but I hear one plug wire, so we know that it's probably skipping on one cylinder because of that and uh, that belt's not looking too healthy air conditioning belt trying to come apart I was hoping to be able to get in it here I wish 
want to see if the power steering's working. Oh yeah. That's neat. Yeah, that's real neat. You can see this thing shot inside. Original AM radio. This is pretty much the time capsule. I mean, it's not been messed with. You can see the original floor mat there, or probably a, a dealer aftermarket or something. It's got the Chevrolet bow tie on it. You know, it's a shame, but I mean, the old car's not really that good a shape. The uh, rusty around the trunk real bad. And it's a four door, of course. But like I said, the guy bought this for parts, the one that he's going to put together. Look, if there's any enough power in there to see any gauges. Oh, we got no gauges, or do we? Oh. Oh, we just got lights. Looks like she's running, but she's smoking some, so more than the others anyway, but I mean, that don't mean it won't clear up. You know, you really can't blame something for sitting that long. Mm -hmm. Running out of gas there. Start her up one more time, see how much, uh, see how much uh, blow by she's got. We'll pull that cover off, or pull that uh, pull cap off. And that's it. Amount of gas in my little can, and I don't have any more. So it's gonna do it for this one. I think uh, I don't know. This thing maybe need build. I, I think I would run it some more before I you know made any conclusions but uh it definitely needs one plug wire on the other on the passenger side uh appreciate everybody watching bye